camera on my phone. So sorry about the poor quality, but <laughs> this is a behind the scenes look. actually started we've actually recorded tons of videos so why don't we take a look back at the weekend first okay I think we should do that sure yeah get him the doctor hello I'm lost can you tell me where to go can you tell me where to go look at me I can slide I can ski me oh yeah I'm a whale who are you who are you? Why are you being so quiet? I see we are. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm not Olaf. I'm a whale. Are we? Who are you? Who? Harry Potter? Are you going to do magic, Harry Potter? Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Don't take my head apart again or my leg off because then I go like this. Wait. What happened? What happened? Uh huh. Oh, you mean what happened to the whale? Uh huh. He went back in the ocean. But before he left, he said, Bye. It's yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll go more Hello. Hello, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, where's Hermione? You don't know? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, bye. Yeah. yeah. Let's go see. Okay, let's go see. I'm taking you. I'm taking you. I'm coming. Just wait for me. I'm coming! You should shut the duck. I'm coming. For you. Who do we have? Did you find Hermione? Mm -hmm. You did. I see. Hedwig the owl. Harrison, I see that you're getting really creative with your Legos now. So, as you can see, he's taking like different sets and like incorporating other things from other sets. And I think that that is amazing and very imaginative of him. Yeah? What do you think? My triceratops. Well, that triceratops is going to get you. How am I going to get you? How am I going to get you? So Patty sent this to Harrison. It's really cool, actually. So it comes with wheels on the bottom, which I'm not sure why, but it does make it easier to, to move. And you can undo these what? pieces and, like, put it back together. Did you like putting it back together and learning about the screwdriver? <laughs> Good morning, campers. We're out at the park today, aren't we? Uh-huh. We were really trying hard to get those hours outside. Oh. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go see the tree? Uh-huh. Or the hill? Uh-huh. Let's go look. Let's see. Let's go see. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. You what? I got it. You got it? I got it. All right. So today we have Archer. He's covering his face with his hand. But I've got him in the carrier and 
we're all outside. Well, Tiffany's inside. She's doing her dissertation chat. What did you find? A stick. You found a stick. Good job. And that's exactly why we're outdoors, right? We're exploring. We're finding things. I did it. You did it. He stuck it straight up in the snow. So, yeah, Tiffany's doing her dissertation chat. Hey, look it, bud. Look it. Let's show the campers something. Come here. See that right there? Yeah. Oh, you're looking on the phone. You just stepped on it. That's a deer track. A deer track? Look at it. It's a footprint of a deer right beneath your foot. Oh. See? Look at it. Right here. Huh? That's a deer track. Oh, a deer track. Yeah. That's a footprint for a deer. Oh. What do you think? It was a wheel and a wheel is hot. Yeah. It was a wheel and a Yeah. Now get on it. Step on it then. <laughs> he loves to crunch things Wait. in the snow. Yeah, he's gonna stand. Okay. Do you see another one? Okay. What is what, baby? Where is it? Let's see if we can find another one. Okay. Mm. I see one right here. Oh! You see it? Right here. Cool, huh? It's keeping up for a reindeer. Yeah, it's for the reindeer, huh? We now reindeer foot. Yeah, more reindeer foot? It's really going. Where is it going? I don't know either. Let's follow it. Okay, this is on our front facing camera on my phone. So sorry about the poor quality, but this is a behind the scenes look of filming a TikTok with Tiffany. Yes. Which really irritates me at the end of the night because I want to have my snack and go to bed, but this was really important to her, so. Hey, you don't want to do where, this is the third one. Yeah, but the first two were fire, as the kids say. Oh, we're currently doing the flash dance water scene. So we've already filmed the feet. What are you doing? Gross. We have eye books. Sorry. We've already filmed uh, the footwork and everything. So now you're going to actually see her pouring the water on me. Oh, welcome to the vlog, by the way. I already have some other stuff on film, but this is really the first welcome. Oh, this is going to be such a mess. Oh, it is. It's going to be a mess, but it's going to be a riot. Uh-oh. Camera's going to turn off. Uh-oh. 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 The uh, water comes fast, so I can't do it slow. I gotta go. That's why I think you should use more water. I have a, I have a lot of water here. I have four cups, five cups of water. I added a cup. <sighs> All right, we only have one shot of this. Yep, one shot, one opportunity. <sighs> I don't even know what to do here. We don't have enough towels out. Oh, it's gonna be a mess. I think it's gonna go off, off the sides. I think my pants head. are gonna get wet. I'm gonna have to they charge are. again. This is. Okay. Three pairs. So you stay like that. Yep. I hit the button. Yep, you're gonna and hit the button. You lean back, and then I pour. So. So what I'm gonna actually do is this to make it look really dramatic. Uh -huh. I'm gonna sit like this as you're pressing record, and then I'm gonna uh -huh. go. Yes. To give it some motion, not to make it look like I'm waiting. Right. Okay. All right. So tell me on go is when I'm gonna start moving. Okay. Okay. Hold on. This is going to be hard because I don't want it to yep. move. Gotcha. One, two, three, go. <laughs> you can put like a little apron on or something too. So someone had suggested that I do the opening scene in The Sound of Music. And here I am thinking we can just use the green screen. Well, technically the opening scene is at the church, right? 
Oh my god, how does it begin? Doesn't it begin in the church? She leaves and runs to the field, right? And then, and then she leaves? That's probably what she's talking about. Right, I'm thinking. Yeah, because I mean... Top of the hill going like this. Wait, no. Isn't she at the hill and she runs to the church because she's late? How do you solve know. a problem like Maria? <laughs> it would be really easy if we just went to YouTube and turned on Sound of Music to see where it starts. But yeah. I really like that we're doing this. Because yeah. so many people right now are probably commenting saying... They're probably like, it's this! <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a place in Washington State when I went on my trip um, to go, <laughs> the Twilight trip. There's a place there in the mountains that mimics the exact background oh really yes like that's what they call it they call it the sound of music or whatever sound of music mountains yeah and it really does look like it like right when we pulled up to it i was like holy sh and of course i started bawling my eyes out mm -hmm. because i'm like you know i wish i could have been there with my grandma yeah but anyway carrie's big plan was for me to what now <laughs> run up the hill at the bar <laughs> do you want me to be able to sing after <laughs> you'll have to lip sing Let's think. Yeah. Do you know what I would look like? Hold tight, please. Hold tight. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> That's what I would look like. Yeah, but you know, you're trying to get a dance in every day. And so maybe yeah. you won't be huffing and puffing as much as you think. Maybe we could do it in the summertime, though. Well, you yeah. Know? Because I think with the cold air, breathing that in, you know, gasping for air. First of all, just walking up the hill is going to make mm -hmm. me out of breath. And yeah, okay. if you're watching this, yes, walking up the hill is going to make me out of breath. First but, of all. Sorry. Sorry. I love you guys. You are making excuses right now. You can deal with the cold air and you can deal with being out of breath. What you cannot deal with is the ice that's on the hill right now because you will fall into it and right. break your ankle. Don't forget about my asthma though. Because in cold weather, it's really, really difficult for me to breathe. So that's why I get so nervous and go through those, like, little panics. Like, super duper cold weather and then, like, really humid weather. Why are you doing that meme guy? She's behind the <laughs> camera going. Rolling my eyes, yes, I am. Did you know there's a BuzzFeed for every, like, like all the major memes? You know, like, the guy who's, like... Who does that? Who I thought was the guy from Robin Hood. Yes, who you thought was <laughs> Carrie Elways. It looks like him. And you call him Robin Hood, but you should really be saying, as you wish. Why? From the Princess Bride? <laughs> oh, God, come on. I've seen I've the been... Princess Bride. If you've seen Less the Princess Bride. I've seen Robin Hood, and if... I haven't seen Robin Hood very much. <laughs> I love Robin Hood Men in Tight, so I'm trying not to knock it. <clears throat> but if you have even seen Princess Bride once, you would know about As You Wish. Oh, like every movie I've seen, I probably fall asleep at some point. So, but anyway, BuzzFeed. If you get bored, guys, Google or go to YouTube and just type BuzzFeed meme, mm -hmm. and it'll have like even the kombucha girl. She's on you know. There. Too bad you never turned into a meme with a charcoal mask. Yeah, what a missed opportunity. I mean, people have used it. Like, I was a, a GIF clip. Right. And that's not... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is my cheek still there? The problem is, though, like, what would you have used any of my facial, like, expressions for? Like, I'm Batman? <laughs> no, at the end, when you were like... Oh, the screaming. When the you ripped screaming? the mask off and I was... Because <laughs> you were shut. Yes. I guess it could be. Why don't people use that clip when they're horrified? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, opens up. Okay, I got one. I got one. Ready? Okay. I know that some of you can relate to this. Opens up a country crock butter container from your grandma's fridge to put butter on toast, only to realize it's not butter. It's less <laughs> chili. <laughs> I don't know how many. That's what we had. We didn't have Tupperware. We had country crack spread. Or we had whatever butter was on sale or. Yeah. Cool Whip? Uh, no, oddly enough. You never use Cool Whip we containers? Didn't really. 
I didn't really grow up eating oh. a lot of sweets. <laughs> Which is so funny. We just didn't really eat cool a lot. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> Wait, you don't believe me with the cool whip or you don't believe me? <laughs> I didn't grow up eating a lot of cool whip either, but I didn't grow up eating a lot of shit I shouldn't have. Actually, I didn't. And you could probably ask my mom. It was when I ate it. Like, that was the bad part. Because mm. I didn't really have... Well, and, and, and my mom has apologized. Like Even now, you still don't eat as many no. sweets as I do. But, like, when I would go to my grandma's house, I'd be like, Hi, Grandma, straight to the cookie drawer. Oh. <laughs> Open the fridge for the face of candy. I mean, I'm even still now, like, trying to cut down. Like, yes, I should be having regular popcorn, but I'm having cheese popcorn because I need to take baby steps. I can't cut out... <laughs> it's bedtime. Are you kidding me right now? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna finish my thought. Like what? God. <laughs> Sorry. Is that worth it? <laughs> hope there wasn't a kernel in there. I hope you didn't chip your tooth. I didn't. Didn't get lodged between my teeth either. <laughs> Are you making fun of me again? Cause that hurt. No. I thought that kernel was gonna stay in my gum. Tiffany, you are not the only person who has popcorn kernels go up in their gums and in their teeth. It happens to everyone who eats popcorn. Did it happen to you? Yeah. Yeah, well, did you eat one and then for like two days you couldn't figure out what was going on? So finally, you had to resort to taking a pair of tweezers because you felt <laughs> something. Yes, it was all the way up in my gum. I had to tweeze out a yeah. piece of stupid peanut shell. Usually I just work it out with my tongue. I hate you. <laughs> okay, Harrison. Do you remember what they're gonna do when we go to the doctor this week? Mm -hmm. What do we do first? I was in the do we lay down on the bed? Mm -hmm. Do you want JJ to do it first, or do you want to do it first? Mm -hmm. You want to do it first? Okay, let's lay down. Lay down on the bed here. Pretend it's the doctor bed. Good job. And then they take a pencil and they mark above your head. Like yeah. that. And then they'll grab your foot and mark below your foot. <laughs> and then we'll move you out of the way. And then we'll see how tall you are. Oh, do you want to stay over there? Okay. I'm sorry. And then they're going to measure your head. Yeah. Do you want to do it to JJ or do you want to do it to Harrison? To JJ. To JJ? Okay. All right. Let's go behind my face. So we had a lot of success when we talked to Harrison about the vaccines um, and That's we explained to him what they were Gigi. and we like poked at him with, you know, anything. It wasn't like hard pokes, but, no you know, we used, head. you know, I don't remember what we used, but we explained okay. how sometimes it hurts for a second, but then it doesn't hurt after. And Harrison, and then, remember, they take this. I'm sorry. No, you're good. And you. They're either gonna put it on your ear or on your finger. Do you wanna put it on your ear or your finger first? Um, no, JJ. Oh, JJ. No, JJ, try it. Here, we'll put it on JJ's ear first. There you go, JJ. <laughs> it tells us how fast JJ's heart is beating. Like this. Boom, boom. Where's your heart, bud? Boom, boom. Where's your heart? Is your heart right here? No. Okay. Now we're gonna do it to Harrison's ear. Good job. That's brilliant, oh, son. Now we're going to do his finger, just in case we do the finger. Good job, JJ. So anyway, last time Harrison got Harrison's va finger. his vax, he was more concerned Good with job. the Band-Aid. Um, didn't want the Band-Aid on him. And anytime Carrier, I wear a Band-Aid. He is he not... He remembers it. He does, and he'll point at his Should leg. So anyway, we're just trying to get him prepared, and it seems like oh, it's kind of right. working out. Yeah, we're just going to do it because uh, it's later in the week. We'll do it for a couple of days, and then yep. hopefully he'll be prepared and not so scared. Right, because some kids just don't even know what's going on, he you know? Us he usually does okay at the doctor, but he yeah. does not like to lay down 
and that no gets, and they always do it first and they always get them going so uh -huh. if we can Mommy, pr practice Mom, I love JJ. I love okay. JJ. and you know you're allowed to take jj with you right yeah do you want to take jj to the doctor mm -hmm. all right yeah because he can help you and we can find out here. i bet you the nurse will see how tall jj is too yeah this is also why it's really important to have a good relationship with your physician in their office because sometimes they're in a really big hurry. But if you show them these little tips and tricks, it helps to kind of humanize the visit a little bit more. Right. And maybe they hadn't thought about it. Maybe they hadn't thought about taking, you know, the baby doll's temperature. I mean, some have, mm -hmm. you know, but maybe not everyone has. 24. 24. Wow. Wow. Can we do Harrison's head? No. Oh. <laughs> he did let us do it a few minutes ago, he though. Did, yeah. So we had a pretty fun weekend, huh? We did. I still think last night's conversation was one of the best. I'm getting ready for the Sunday Night Live, but I'm also halfway through making a TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully everybody on the Sunday Live knows what I'm doing. And I don't know. I'll probably put it Mommy, up open it. before Mommy, open it. this vlog comes out. But if I don't... I'm doing a TikTok to the um, song Warrior by Scandal. Ooh. Yeah, I'm letting the 80s out. Like, I'm. this is my true self. I'm letting the 80s out. So all these People kids have on... been loving your TikToks lately. You know what I really like? Mommy, the body positivity. I like I that we can it. use the music. Mm -hmm. Like, we can use the music. We can't do that on YouTube. We can't do right. that anywhere. Yeah. I have to wait for the video to get approved before we can even put it up on Facebook. Mommy. Right. So I think people wonder, like, why do you put up the picture... And then 12 hours later, you might put the video up. Well, that's why, because I don't know if they're going to let me play it without... Ooh, careful. There's Man. not black on that one. Ooh, there isn't. I'll have to check. Thank you for looking. Mm -hmm. I yes, because I do need black. There might not be black on the blue one either. I don't, I don't think... No, there is. Oh, yeah, right here. Or is that dark blue? It's pretty dark blue, but... It should it's work makeup. for the purposes of this video. Makeup. I think it will work. It's makeup. Well, let's see, because it would go like right about I here. I want this one. Mommy, looks pretty dark. Mommy, that looks... Mommy, I want yeah. this one. Okay, hey, you can help me in just a minute, okay? Okay. Okay, you can help me in just a minute, I promise. Mm. I would love for you to help me. I think you are I think you are a great assistant. my paintbrush. Yeah, that's your pink brush. Hey, he said paintbrush. Paint. Did you say paintbrush? I thought it was a paintbrush. That's mm -hmm. makeup. This makeup. All right, I'm gonna get ready. You can go play, and I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay. I swallowed one Nico. Yep, you can help me, but we're not ready for it yet. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. go look at go the ahead. instructions some more. Yeah, go look at your instructions, and I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay. Mommy, mommy, I I I just I just sit I just sit on a table. You're just. Okay. <laughs> I know, but don't you want to go play for a little bit? We're yeah. not ready. I just here. Are you gonna be okay. doing? Are you gonna be doing makeup like mommy? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go pick out the makeup that That's you want to use. Absolutely. This is the this is the blending ball. I had to get it a little damp because it blends yeah. better. Oh. Do you want to go pick out some music no. or not music makeup? You want to go pick out some makeup? I smell more because for mommy. Okay, you can help me. I promise. And like this paintbrush. Yep, you can use that one. It's it's called a makeup brush, not a paintbrush. Once. Yeah. Alright. Well, I appreciate your help. I'll let you know when I'm ready, okay? Oh. My. Goodness. Wasn't that fun? Mm -hmm. It was so fun. You still got a little bit of makeup on your face. He does. Oh my gosh. He's got some under his eye. He does. Oh, we could have some really good fun with makeup. Do you want to make us looking like zombies one day? Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. I'm a zombie. A zombie. A zombie! A zombie! Mm. I want mm. squishy teeth. Mm. Look at that well balanced plate. Peas and <laughs> carrots. Pieces of chicken. What are those? Blueberries and a handful of Cheetos. Yeah. I'm proud of you. You ate a lot of chicken. You did. You did. Yeah. So. I love you. I love you too. I really love you. What are you, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Yeah, you are. You no. Want I'd like to explore my hair in in using headbands. What do you think? 
Have I stopped you from doing anything you wanted to do with your hair yet? Yes. What? I did tell you I wanted to grow it out and part it down the middle. Okay, I'll let you grow it out. Oh, so it's just at least one idea I'm allowed to do. No, but I used I used an old mask today for a headband. Yeah. Because I was in a pinch, <clears throat> and I actually kind of liked it. You had it connected to your ears, though. Didn't it hurt your ears? It didn't feel the greatest, but it worked. Okay. It got the job done. Mm -hmm. I used to have this headband. What is it? Remember, little bites. You Cheers. want more chicken and more blueberries? And you don't want more Cheetos? You are such a healthy eater. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell when I get stung by something. <laughs> yeah, that one burned a little. You know, I will say this though, I absolutely 100% refuse to go back to using the food as you know, a reward. I don't ever want to do that. I don't even want to do it for me. You know, I don't want to say to myself, oh, I've had a good week. I'm going to have a piece of cake. Like, I don't want to do that. No. You know, I help. I hope. Don't put it on a pedestal. I hope that my weight starts to come down a little bit faster. But I'm still not going to say, oh, it's my cheat day. Like, when I say right. that, I'm, like, completely joking. Oh. And, like, kind of laughing. Right. You know. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but Carrie used to be a CrossFit trainer. Back in a in another life, uh -huh. you know, a long time ago, Carrie was, and she worked for this family who owned a gym. Um, no, I'm thinking some other things now, but anyway, uh, I did this like kind of diet, and, and I'll call it a diet because that's what it was called. It wasn't called a lifestyle change; it was called a diet. I think essentially it was the keto diet. It really did mimic keto before the keto diet came out. Yeah. Or it was like underground keto and people didn't hadn't heard of it yet. Uh -huh. So it, it really was. Like I had to incorporate I um mommy. I had to watch I my daddy. macros I'm and keto. <laughs> That's okay, baby. Thank you. So I remember that in the first week of this I diet it. I lost like twelve pounds. And within like three more days, and I wasn't supposed to weigh myself, I was down over 15. And I was like, wow, I am really making like some strides. But in doing that, I was absolutely miserable. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just because, you know, I couldn't eat the foods I wanted to eat. It was because I literally, and I feel this in my body, and I know this now because of where I'm at. Like in my career it's because I tried to cut everything out all at once so me who obviously I overeat because of some reason you know which we're not gonna get into that right now but overeating was a behavior that I picked up that I was using as a coping skill for something which is what most behaviors are you know when people smoke they're not smoking because they like the taste of a cigarette they're smoking because they're used to doing something that helps calm their anxiety or helps make them not think of something. It's a distraction. Like, I I'm, I gotta tell you, I don't know one person who actually lights a cigarette and thinks it smells good. And if you do, that's fine. But I don't know anyone, and, and I've never heard of it in my life and in my career. Now, food's different. Food tastes good. Food, you you taste it, it goes right up into the dopamine centers, and you want it. You want more of it. The taste buds love it. And, and as I'm saying this, you know, I'm, I'm getting hungry now. But it took me a long time to realize that, oh, I can't cut all of that stuff out right now. Because I was hating myself. And I, I finally looked at Carrie one day and told her, that I would, I, I don't remember exactly how it went. <laughs> but I remember sitting in bed and telling her I did just did not feel like getting out of bed. Like I was ridiculously and utterly depressed. I was barely sleeping. I, you know, it was horrible. And she went out and got me a decent, like a appropriate amount of cereal. And it was sugar cereal that we still had. It was Co Cocoa Krispies, actually. And I couldn't believe it. Now, I know that there was sugar in that, so obviously it gave me more energy. But, like, 
I have been eating much healthier from that day. Like that that diet has taught me about good carbs and bad carbs. And I have not gained a single bit of that weight back still. But I also haven't lost exorbitant amounts of weight either. So I'm doing it at my own pace. But I know, I know that I will never have a cheat day. I will never really, really have a cheat day because when I start using words like that, it starts taking away from what I'm actually doing. Yeah, remember to chew them all first, okay? Yeah. Okay. So, I think with that, we are going to close out because we have some activities planned for today, don't we? What are we going to do today? Um, are, are we going to take over the world? No. Yes. Same thing we do every day, Pinky. Oh boy, okay. Anyway, thanks. Really? I love you. All right, well, thank you for hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the... Flippity. <laughs> you want a boop? No. Okay. <laughs> Ha <laughs>